Oh, all right, you know what? That's it. I think that doing theater this long is really starting to get to me. But you know what? I think it's time I got it all out. Every little problem that I have with theater. All right, we'll start off with a pretty simple one. Theater is my sport. I, I just can't get behind this phrase. I mean, I completely agree that people, you know, they put a lot of hard work and time into doing theater. That's completely true. I just can't take you seriously if you're wearing theater as my sport. Like, there's a reason theater kids get made fun of, and I'm pretty sure this is it. You know, it's it's completely, I agree with it, and you know, I it makes sense to me, but it just drives me crazy in a way I can't explain. It, I think there's too much focus on memorization, as opposed to actually just like acting and getting the lines out how they're supposed to be said, not exactly word for word. So many people will try to, you know, they'll just keep their whole goal as, you know, get the lines down exactly right, you know, make sure everything's off book, you know. I mean, that's totally good, and you've definitely got to have stuff memorized for the show, but I think acting is more important. I think if you just try to, like, learn lines, how you're going to say them, and with emotion, and with the proper enunciation on words, you will begin to memorize it, because then you're not rushing right before the show, trying to, oh, i got to... You know, I've got the lines, but now I've got to add emotion. And sometimes that ends up with a flat performance, even if you know your lines really well. Man, where's that coming from? Oh, oh, okay. Hello? Mister, I got something very important to say to you. What? You know what I really hate about uh, theater? It's when the director makes you do a read-through, and then they have someone read all the stage directions while you're trying to go, I mean... It completely breaks up the flow of the entire scene. I mean, in the real theater, you're going to be doing the stage directions as you go along. So what's the point of reading the stage directions as their own separate thing? It completely, you're sitting there, you're saying the line. And sometimes they don't even read the stage directions or the emotion in which you're supposed to speak. They'll say, angrily. Like, I know I'm supposed to be angry. I can also read. You're supposed to hear it in my voice. When you're doing the actual show, no one comes on and goes, hey, this guy's actually pretty sad. So, you know, oh, start weeping. No, 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 no. That is my biggest pet peeve around theater. Anyway, I gotta get back on duty. All right. All right. All right. He made a good point, but that's not it. No, 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 no. The thing that gets me the most, musicals. Oh, they're, here's the thing. They're so fun and so energetic and so exciting and they're so great to watch. Oh my gosh. I just... What is the obsession with musicals? I, I love watching them, they're so great, but why does everyone have to do musicals? Anyway, the point is, why, why does everyone have to do musicals when there's straight plays out there? There's people who can't sing, and there's people who can't dance, and there's people that aren't talented, like, musically and stuff. Can we please give them a shot, maybe, for those unfortunate people out there? You know, maybe they want to act, and maybe they, can't sing or anything and maybe those people deserve a shot at doing something that's not a musical i love musicals but please can we like have a break of them i mean like there's not that many i swear like everyone in town does the same one over and over again anyway can i just you know what eh.